From somewhere in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. We are going on a drug run. Hooray. And now, and now here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues that you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show brought to you in part by Knight Rider, the series, More Muscle, Bigger Missions, Heart Pounding Action. Tonight at 8, 7 Central on NBC. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And it's time for another edition of My Mom's a Slut. And you know how my mom's a slut works. You know, uh, when I was a kid, your mom was married to your dad, okay? My mom was married to my dad for 40 years till my dad died. That was it. And all the years that uh, I was a kid, you know, my mom was a housewife. That's what she was. My mom was not a whole bag. My mom was not a slut. My mom didn't tart herself out, uh, tart herself up and go out to the macaroni grill and try to pick up guys. My mom was a mom. My mom was always a mom. And that's how things used to be. But times have changed. Oh, yes, they have. Times have changed. And now what happens is, in most cases, your mom and dad have gotten a divorce after five years or maybe ten years. Or your mom never married your dad. Or your mom doesn't even know who your dad is. Or your mom doesn't want to tell you who your dad is. In many cases, your mom had you when she was 16 or 17 or 14. So you've known your mom when she's like, 30 or 32 or 34 and just getting into her sexual prime and so uh, you have seen your mom will politely and euphemistically call it dating but of course you know your mom's out getting late and you know it's one thing when you see somebody else's mom who's tarting herself up to go out and get some or bringing guys home it's a whole other story when it's your mom. And we have heard some amazing stories over the years uh, when we have done this feature. And so it's uh, time to do it again. It's time to find out about your mom, the slut. Your mom, the hoe bag. Your mom, who's out there, she needs some just like you need some. Your mom who's embarrassing you. By the way, your mom could be any age. How many of you have a mom who's like 60? And she's placing ads on like Craigslist? Trying to meet guys? Who knows what she's doing? Lying about her age? Double shifting, you know, doing two guys in a day? Uh, you come home and there's mom in the hot tub with some guy you've never seen before? Oh, the list of possibly embarrassing stories is endless. And I remember some amazing stories we've been told when we've done My Mom the Slut or My Mom is a Slut. Call it what you will. So uh, if your mom is a slut and, frankly, embarrassing to you, you know, it's one thing when you want to go out and get laid, when you want to go out and get some, but this is your mom we're talking about. The one who gave you life. You know, and here she is. You know, there's that uh, vagina that you uh, sprung from. And your mom is out lending it out to complete strangers. And that's a little creepy. To most people. So it's another edition of My Mom the Slut. Or My Mom is a Slut. Pick the title. And we'll go with that one. If your mom is a slut... 
If your mom is a hoe bag, if your mom is out there, she just needs some. And it creeps you out. I want to hear the story. You can call me here at 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. I think we'll call this My Mom is a Slut. That's what we're going to call this feature. My Mom is a Slut. So if your mom is a slut, call us right now and we'll get your call on the air. Let's start with Miles. Miles, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Oh, my God. Long time, first time, Tom. Loving it, man. Loving it, dude. Um, okay, so check this out. Uh, my mom, she went through husband after husband, like, broke up with my dad when I was really young, yada, yada. She, uh, she's, she, like, she was with my last stepdad for, like, eight years. I want to make this quick, as quick as I can. And uh, she would quit her job, like, get a new job every two to four months, you know? And uh, eventually I went and lived with her for a couple of years, and I found out, you know, the reason why is because she's, like, online all the time talking to Hey, people. hey, 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 hey. Zero tolerance policy, pal. You're out! The F word still has not been approved for broadcast, far as we know. Much as we'd like to hear the rest of the story. Yikes. I one eight hundred five eight hundred. tom is our telephone number. The segment is called, My Mom is a Slut. And if you have been embarrassed by the actions of your mother... A young, vibrant woman who's out there trying to get knocked up or trying to get laid... We want to hear all about it right now. Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. All these guys out there listening, you got to pay attention to this stuff. It, it is not just lip service. Your lives will be screwed. The Tom Likas Show. All right, it's the Tom Likas Show, another edition of My Mom's a Slut. And if your mom is a slut, a whole bag, if your mom is just out there trying to get some and it's creepy and embarrassing to you, call me and tell me about it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tanisia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi, Tanisia. My mom is a slut. <laughs> Do tell me. Uh, my mom is with my dad's stepdad. Your dad's cute. stepdad? Yeah, my grandfather. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, now, so, now, wait a minute. Is is your dad still alive? Yeah, well, actually, my dad is in the pen. <laughs> He's been in the pen most of my life. So they haven't been together forever, but they think that no one knows about it, but everyone knows, so we make jokes about it on the low. <laughs> really? Yeah. So uh, do you see them together? What have you uh, What have you seen? What have you heard? Yeah, my cousins have actually spied and, like, checked their phones, and, yeah, it, they just make it, like, they try to hide it, but you can tell. <laughs> really? We've never actually really caught them in the act of anything, but, like, just by going by texts and picture mail that we've seen, yeah, we know that they're together. <laughs> picture mail? Does your Wait a minute. Does your mom send naked pictures of herself to your dad's stepdad? Yeah, that's what we're thinking. <laughs> really? I actually didn't see the pictures, but my cousin said she's seen the pictures, and she's seen my mom naked before. She said, yeah, I think it's your mom. <laughs> Are you? How old is your mom? Um, She's about... 44, maybe. And how old is your dad's stepdad? Um, he's about 66. 66. So your mom is sending naked pictures to your dad's stepdad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then she saves them in her own phone. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen these pictures? Oh, and I do not want to see them, but my cousin's seen them, and she's the one who told me about it. <laughs> how does she look? I have no idea. I don't want to know. <laughs> now, are these professionally posed pictures, or does she just, uh, you know, squat down in the bathroom with the cell phone? Yeah, I think that's what happened. <laughs> no. Yes. I love getting those naked pictures from a bathroom. You can see <laughs> towels. I love getting naked pictures from the bathroom, and you can see towels hanging around in the background. And, yeah, and the toilet. <laughs> yeah, you know, the toilet is there. How about people put one foot up on the toilet and then take a picture? Oh, my God. That's a fight. <laughs> and your mom is in the bathroom taking pictures of her hoo-hoo. Yeah. Okay, that's enough talk. <laughs> Send them to your grandfather. That, that's grossing me out. <laughs> it's grossing me out, and I don't even know either one of them. <laughs> 
Listen to you. I'm sorry? I said, listen to you. You're losing it over there. That I am? Yes, you're losing it. I'm losing it? <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. It's another edition of My Mom's a Slut. If your mom's acting like a slut, call now 1-800-5-800-TOM. Here is Courtney on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Well, my story's a little embarrassing because um, my mom, my dad worked so hard and he used to work 12-hour shifts so my mom could stay at home. And um, my mom would always complain um, about her, should I say, her chest area, how, you know, because of the children, she would look the way she looked. So my dad felt really bad and got her implants. My mom went wild after those implants were put in. I mean, she started dating our high school soccer coach. She started um, going out. Wait, with... were, your, were your parents divorced at this point? No. My dad didn't know about it. So your dad got your mom a boob job, and they're still married, and your mom starts going out and doing other people. I'm sorry. Now? Right now? No. I thought you meant at that point when she was doing all this stuff, yes. At this point now in, in life, no. No, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, when your dad, I'm, I'm just speaking in the present tense like it just happened. Uh, your oh. dad, you so see your dad and your mom are together, and your dad feels bad for your mom, gets her a boob job. So now they're, at that point, they're still together. And so your mom goes wild, starts banging everybody in town while they're still together. Yeah. And she started, like, going out with, um, like, boys that had graduated, like, a year or two older than me. Like, when she got it done, I was a senior, and she was going out with guys that were, like, a year and two older than I was. So it would get around, like, it wasn't, we weren't supposed to know, but I don't know what some of these moms think, that they're not, that people don't talk, but... Everybody talks, and everybody knew, and it was really embarrassing. I mean, it, it it was very embarrassing, and the whole time I felt so bad for my dad because he got this for her after she nagged and nagged and blamed him for giving her the children that they wanted, and he fixed her up, and she repaid him by going out and, you know, sharing them with everybody, which I felt at that time I, I didn't understand what was going on. Now, how did you find out your mom was doing this stuff? Well, um, the soccer coach from the high school was because um, one time, um, I guess, they had, like, a rendezvous at a hotel, and, you know, women don't learn, and they let people take pictures of them, and the pictures got around at school. And when I confronted my mom about it, she said um, that, you know, she didn't get to live life because she had us really young. Whose fault is that? Hers. But she didn't understand that, and... I I was the one that told my dad. You told him that you heard about this at school? Uh-huh. And what did he say? At first, he didn't believe me, and um, my dad came to the high school, and he confronted the soccer coach, and, um, you know, that's where it all exploded. Wow, wow, wow. And then that's when then he found out, That's after that is when we actually found out about the guys that were older than me, like a year or two older than me that she had been with, which is kind of sick because we all went to preschool together. Whoa. So did you confront this guy? The soccer coach? Yeah, well, the, well, the guy she was having sex with, the, the guy well, you went to school I, with. I mean, I what could I say? You know, I mean, what was he going to tell me? Yeah, I'm banging your mom. You know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't he, could say, I, he could say that. I don't think he would have. I just, that's why I told my dad. And that's why my dad confronted it, and that was the end of, of that, you know. But, I mean, I just think it was sad because my dad did it as a gift for her. How did your mom feel that you were going around telling your dad and talking about this? Um, she, for a long time, um, well, to this day, we don't talk like mother and daughter. Um, I'm like the person that broke her marriage up, according to her, but she, yet she doesn't see what she did. She just thinks that I broke up the marriage and my dad and her are no longer together because um, because of me. Wow. So it's it's been hard. It's been hard more on me, I would say, than her or anybody else. Boy, I imagine that's true. And now your mom, is your mom still banging around? What's the deal? Well, from what I heard, you know, um, seriously, like, I mean, you're a man and 
realistically, after a couple few men have had you, you become a has-been, especially at her age. So now she's more has become a joke, you know, like, I, I can't explain it. It's like oh, anybody can have her now. So How old is so your I'm, mom? My mom's 45, but she doesn't look 45. Yeah. She doesn't look 45. Does she so, look older now that so many guys have had her? Well, she doesn't look, I, I, I mean, I can't say anything bad. She still doesn't look bad. You know, it's just her reputation that has followed her now, and it, it's a little embarrassing. It, it's it's embarrassing. Wow. Because I'll tell you one thing. We can go to a local place. If I go with her, everybody knows who my mother is. They've probably all seen her naked. Probably. <laughs> oh, boy. The only thing that I said that, you know, my mom can be a slut, whatever she wants to be. The thing is, is I don't think that it was my fault that they broke up because I told my dad. I think it was something that was going to happen regardless if I told my dad or not. Well, it was happening anyway, whether you told him or not. Yeah. Unbelievable. Courtney, thank you for that story. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. My mom is a slut. That's what this segment is called. And if your mom is a slut, call and give us the dirty details. Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm breaking a lot of talk here right now. Really? Yeah, I'm driving in my car. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I don't have a hands-free phone. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, my, I don't know if my mom's a slut, but she's a gold-digging whore. Is that still okay? Your mom is? Tell us all about it. Well, I was about 11, I guess, and she was working for this doctor as a receptionist. And then uh, suddenly he moves in with us. Oh, he's married, by the way. Well, was. Wait, wait, uh, you, you are how old? Well, say that again. You're how old? Uh, I was at the time I was 11. Now you were 11. No, no, no. But you were 11 years old. Yeah. Your, your mom has a boss. It's the doctor. And yeah. one day the doctor moves into your house. <laughs> yeah, moves into our house. How yeah. did mom explain that? Uh, she said he was having some problems in his house, and, you know, I don't really don't remember. I, I was really kind of disinterested. Uh, and, you know, I, my mom pretty much let us run wild, so, uh, you know, I didn't really care. Uh, honestly, I didn't, didn't, I don't, I don't really remember. But anyways, wow. he moves in, uh, and then, uh, eventually he gets divorced from his wife, and then, uh, oh, oh let's add in ghetto. My mom's a ghetto gold digging whore. How's that? Really? <laughs> She gets married to him when she's eight months pregnant in our living room, bro. No! <laughs> yeah, what kind of a mom is that to raise kids, man? <laughs> now, how did you react to that? Uh, I remember me and my brothers are like just kind of like making fun of it, and we weren't very serious, and it was like confusing because I was like 12 by then, you know? I was just like, what the hell's going on here? This is crazy. Now, so. what happened to Mrs. Doctor? Uh, you believe it or not, she was kind of a fat pig. She was a super nice lady. She, you know, and she, it's funny because afterwards she kept coming around and pretending like we were her, her new stepsons. And, and it was just weird because I had two older brothers and, uh, she'd be really nice to us and she was nice to my wife and she was always a really nice lady. And then, uh, but she was a fat pig and, uh, she was out shoveling her, uh, her, this is up in the, the Northeast. She was out shoveling her driveway one day and, uh, jumped in her car and had a heart attack at the wheel and got killed, man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so maybe the doctor guy made out in the long run, you know, so. Unbelievable. Yeah, and is your still mom married, still, though, so. they're still married? Yeah, still married, yeah. And have you ever gotten along with the doctor, or has this harmed oh, your yeah, relationship with really, He's an awesome guy. He's totally cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I can't blame my mom, you know. She, she saw an opportunity. She took advantage of it. You know, it's a capitalist society. She's a capitalist pig, so. <laughs> oh, and she sold what she had to sell. <laughs> hey, Tommy, take me out of a bong hit. Here you go, Michael. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. If you're just tuning in, this segment is called "My Mom Is a Slut." And if your mom is a slut, call in and tell us the dirty details. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Jake on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Jake. Uh, yeah, I was just calling, you, man. Uh, my mom. Well, my friend said that they saw her at a bar. And then there was a bunch of guys around her, and, uh, you know, she must have gone home with one of them. And, and they've seen my friends, and even I have seen her at a bar sometimes. You know, we, I, 
to run into her, you know, kind of embarrassing. Now, does your mom tart herself up when she goes to the bar? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she does, man. She what does she do? Her. Tell us what she does. When she puts on a bunch of makeup, she looks like a pancake. And um, she, oh, she just wears mini skirts and then some little shirts and high heels and stuff. Really? Yeah, it's like a straight whore. Does she wear a bra? Your mom, does she wear a bra? Oh, no, she doesn't. No bra? No. So she's got uh, you know, a little nipple action going on there? Oh, boy. Oh. How old is your mom? Yeah. How old? Nine. I can't hear you. Your phone is cutting out. Uh, she's 49. She's 49? And uh, now, did she ever get remarried or anything? What happened? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they divorced when I was um, like 10. And, um, you know, she's been with a bunch of guys ever since. Do you ever catch your mom at home with a guy? Uh, yeah, I, I walked in on her once and uh, she was having sex. She was naked. Some guy, you know, had her in a degrading position, you know. A degrading position? Yeah. Uh, Exactly. <laughs> yes. And he was giving it to her good, and then you walked in. Yeah. Did you say anything? Uh, no, I couldn't. I just walked out and left. And what did your mom say next time she saw you? Uh, well, she called me telling me that she was sorry about, about you know, me walking in on her and stuff. And, you know, I just couldn't talk to her. You know, it was kind of... You know, didn't have anything to say to her. So we just stopped talking for a while after she called me and told me sorry. And now you're talking again. Uh, yeah. And your mom is still out there getting it uh, anywhere she can get it? Yeah, she's being a slut. Have you had a conversation with her about this? Like, have you told her what you think about that? Yeah, I told her that. I, I think that it's, you know, nasty that she's doing that, you know, because of a woman of her age shouldn't be going out, you know, phony eyes. But she says she's a, she's a grown woman. She could do whatever she wants, you know. All that crap. All that crap. And has it affect, has this affected your sex life at all, like the way you look at chicks? Uh, no, not at all. I'm still out there following your rules. All right, just checking. All right. I'll take me out with uh, my mom's a slut style. Uh, what would that be? Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thanks, Mom. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. It's Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Pops? Not much, son. My my mom's just, uh, she's dirty like the rest of them. How so? Uh, dude, I honestly, uh, when I was about 15, 16, I walked into her hooking up with, uh, my real dad while she was with my stepdad, and I was still living with him, and she was with another guy with my real dad. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. Really? They had, like, a gangbang? Yeah, it, it gets, it gets worse, man. She didn't even, it wasn't even a big deal to her. She just, uh, looked at me and kind of kept doing her thing, and I, uh, after that, I've honestly disowned women in general, and my mom as a whole woman just totally being a woman at all. Did, has your mom tried to reach out to you? Oh, I could care less. I don't really care much. Wow, wow, wow. So you haven't spoken to your mom since? Yeah, nope. How, I, I how old is your mom? Uh, she's about 38. Your mom is 38, and you're 23? She was 38 then, yeah, when oh. I was 16. Oh, okay, okay. So your mom's about 45 now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you're 38. Wow. And is your mom married? Uh, yeah, she was married to my stepdad. She was hooking up with my dad and one of his friends. I don't even know his name. I didn't even... It was... I Honestly, I, I'm kind of troubled from it. And I told her that. I just never have talked to her since. I kind of... I moved out and I grew up. And ever since then, I've hated women and I've just listened to you and they F, F the rest of them. You know what I mean? I understand. Thank you for that, Adam. Half past the hour on the Tom Like a Show. And here we are talking about your mom. The segment's called My Mom is a Slot. And if your mom is a slot, I want to hear all about it. Katie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm a big fan of yours, Tom. I think Thank you're you. awesome. Thank Thanks you. 
All right. So here's my story. So just kind of recently, actually, within uh, about a few months ago, my mother comes to stay with me at, I just, this is just hilarious. She comes to stay with me in my apartment and I had a very small apartment at the time. So she sleeps with me in my bed. You know, we go to bed, watch a movie, we fall asleep. It's like 10 o'clock at night. And uh, I wake up at around <clears throat> midnight or something just to use the restroom and my mom is gone and she's not in my bed. <laughs> so I don't know. I kind of stayed up worried. She doesn't have a cell phone. Keep in mind, she doesn't drive a car. So it's kind of like, okay, so wherever she went, she walked, I guess. So I kind of stayed up for a while, as long as I could, waiting. And um, I couldn't wait anymore. I was tired, so I just fell back asleep. And I end up hearing her come in. She wakes me up coming in at like... At like 5.45 in the morning. <laughs> she woke you up at 5.45? Yeah, by getting back in bed. So, like, I, you know, feel her getting back in bed, and I woke up, and I'm like, I'm like, so, where were you? She's like, oh, well, I couldn't sleep, so I just went, uh, I went for a walk. I'm like, where did you walk? She's like, oh, well, she's like, this is going to sound weird, I know, but I went to Hooters, um, Right down the street, which, you know, I mean, it looks like a good time. You know, there are a lot of girls around and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, so you were hanging with girls at Hooters. She's like, yeah, totally. So um, she's like, so I hung at Hooters until they closed. And then um, there was a guy in there who, it was his birthday. So I just walked back to his apartment. And, um, and you know, we just, I'm like, oh, yeah, what'd you do? She's like, oh, you know, it was just his birthday. So, uh, so we just opened gifts and had some cake and whatnot and, you know, birthday stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, they had cake, all right. Yeah, so... <laughs> they got you, they had pie. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I just thought that was really funny. So I just want to share it with you. Tom, I love you. You're hilarious. I'm just... I, I can't tell you how much I love you. Take me out. Uh, blow me up. All right, Katie, here you go. one 800 tom is our telephone number. This segment is called My Mom is a Slut. Now, our next caller is 10 years old. It's Taylor. Taylor, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. This is, um, hi, Tom. Hi, Taylor. Hi, um, this is, um, this is about my mom. Um, keeps on talking to this guy named Randy. And, um, every time when I play on her phone, this text always says that, um, from him, it says that he always miss her and it says like I miss you baby and I miss you sweetie where are you how are you and um it's like I'm like a, a adult to her so you're like what I'm like an adult to her oh I see now is your mom still with your dad no they're divorced okay so your mom is uh, chatting with Randy on her phone mm -hmm. yep now have you met Randy no she doesn't want me to meet him. Oh, I see. But you know what's going on. Yeah. So, uh, have you heard anything else about what's going on? Yeah, like, I hear her talk to him, like, all the time. Like, every, but I don't hear her all the time because every time when she talks to him, like, for, like, an hour or something, she, um, she, uh, always goes, she goes in her room and closes the door so... I can't hear what she's talking to him. Oh, and she talks to him on the cell phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can't pick up the other phone and listen. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about this, Taylor? I don't feel very happy about that. Tell us why. Because, like, she she already, been, um, she already um, like, took a lot of money from my dad, and I think she's got to do that again to to this Randy, and it doesn't make me feel very happy what she's doing. Now, how is she going to take money from him? Is she going to marry him? Maybe, but I don't know, because she doesn't tell me a lot about him. Wow. Like, like he always um, gives her stuff like the iPhone and the Shuffle, like I, um, the iPod Shuffle. Wow. Your mom only has two ears. How does she use all that stuff? Huh? Yeah, you, you need to have two ears for each one of those items. How do you listen to all that stuff? Well, it's, it's because she tells me that what um, what she's getting from him, and it sounds like she's trying to like use him and stuff like that. Wow! And you don't like that? No, I don't. 
And uh, what did she take from your dad? Cash and money. Really? Mm-hmm. And was your dad upset about that? Yeah, very. He, now he's happy because he's not with her anymore. I'll bet he is happy. Mm-hmm. I think I'm happy for him. So <laughs> does, how does this make you feel about your mom and dad? Who would you rather be with? I'm going to have to say my dad. Really? So you don't like being with your mom? I do sometimes. Like, they're both my parents, and I still love them both, but not too much when my mom, like, treats me very badly. And then my dad doesn't very hit me t too much, so I'd rather be with my dad. So your mom hits you? Yeah, like, kicks me in my face. She kicks you in the face? Once. Only once. But when he once told the police, they didn't do anything. Are you serious? I'm very serious. How did you feel about that? Um, not, not happy at all. Cause like, I, um, my sister, she all she heard was me crying and my mom screaming at me. And how did the police find out that this happened? Well, my dad called the police, and uh, but. And they took some pictures, but they didn't do anything at all. And the reason they didn't do anything is because your dad said nothing happened? Actually, he told the story, what I told him, and they told the police. But they didn't do anything, so then all they, all they, uh, all they did was nothing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, does anybody know you're making this call? Yeah. Who, who knows? My dad. Your dad? Are you with your dad now? Mm-hmm. Wow. Unbelievable. And your mom is out there somewhere probably with Randy. Yeah. Probably picking his pocket. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's an amazing story, Taylor. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. You're welcome. All right. Good luck. Oh, my. That is amazing. Taylor, 10 years old. Wow. This segment is called My Mom is a Slut. If your mom is a slut, call me now. Tom Likas. 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. It makes me sick to my stomach the way they worship you. It's ridiculous. It's like you're some sort of god or something and you got your own little Bible going on. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yes! From Hollywood, my name is Tom Likas. And uh, this segment is called My Mom. Is a slut. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. JV on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Did, uh, I have a story for you that called. Nine. Yeah. Um, my mom and dad. Uh, they moved. My mom moved to Florida from Boston, and uh, she uh, kept my dad up there in Boston to maintain the house. I guess, and she went to school too. And all this time, she realized all this freedom she was having. And um, she, you know, would, uh, on the weekend, she would send us out to boy, um, enroll us and made us go to Boy Scouts, and she would send us off to camp. And uh, every every weekend, when we came back to pick, she picked us up from camp, um, she would always um, pick us up with this priest, this old family friend that is um, pretty distant, too. At first, you know, me and my brother, we didn't think anything of it. We, we, we tried not to, like, it's just us. But later on, it happened more and more. And uh, it got to the point where it, it started, he started, like, coming over for, you know, dinners and this and that. And it was more than uh, more than abnormal, uh, more than usual. It kind of felt weird. And me and my brother, we always kept it in the back of our minds until until one day when we were cleaning out the rooms. And we were cleaning out her master bathroom. And uh, we found, uh, and it was from the weekend we were gone from uh, a camp, Boy Scout camp. And uh, we found packs of un um, open used condoms. You know? Used condoms? Do they have contents? In the trash can? No, it was those oh. are empty. It was empty, uh, like a torn condom pack in the in the in yeah. her bathroom, in her restroom. Uh huh. Yeah, 
and so, and, and it wasn't me or my brother. So you know, we knew she something happened. And my dad wasn't. I talked to my dad. He wasn't in town or anything either. And that's when we realized this was going on for a while. Then we started um, digging up more trash and more info. Like on our um, pictures, we found pictures of her going to Key West. This is when we lived in Miami. So we had pictures of her and, and this priest going to Key West, romantic settings and this and that. Yeah. Really? Yes. And it was going on for like about two, three years until we, until, you know, until this, until we eventually finally find out that happened, that had been going on two years. And uh, what did your dad do? Uh, at first, we didn't want we don't want to tell our dad. You know, we don't want to. You know, like we ruined this priest's reputation. We like we wanted to make sure that it was the case, and so we didn't tell our dad until we found the condom packets. That's when we I, I told my dad. We I told my dad, and we went from there. Wouldn't the pictures of the two of them in Key West be enough? Oh, it was not. It was nothing gross, nothing disgusting. But it was just like yeah, they were together. They were uh, holding each other's hands. They had, they were you know, you know um, romantically in each other's faces you know that kind of thing so when you told your dad what did he do uh he 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 didn't believe it too he did he could not believe he's like you're 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 sure are you sure about this he was asking us we're sure we're making up you know are we do we not like this priest we don't want to this is a priest you're talking about a holy man you know you show him the pictures uh we didn't get the pictures apparently but but how do you see them um we, we we found them but then when we, we put them we put them back we didn't take them i see so, but we told we told our dad, and he came down. He eventually came down and um, flew down from Boston, and and um, he he found out for himself slowly uh, as time progressed. Wow! And then what did he do? Um, he was he try, he wanted to make sure that he was sure too, and so we we eventually we, you know he found he he went through scenarios, and she he noticed that there was uncomfortableness when she mentioned him, and slow it, it slowly filled out, and he got. We actually we made we made we made the priest um, uh, we made him we made him spill the beans. To who? We what we did was this is what me and my brother did. This is two middle school kids. We found it out after we found out we faxed it to his um, the diocese in Pensacola. We faxed out we just faxed out a simple letter saying thou shalt that the sixth thou shalt not commit adultery. You know, and then we just said uh, this is from a nuns. You know, um, we know your sins. This and that. And she got paranoid. And he that's when when my dad confronted him. He just asking like uh, subtly, and that's when he came out and he spilled the beans. So he spilled the beans. Wow! And what did he say? He was, he was. Um, actually, he said uh, he apologized, but it was an uns- insincere apology because afterwards it still continued. He still continued to visit, come down and visit. Um, you know, this is from flying from Pensacola to Miami to visit my mom still. And did the uh, diocese or the archdiocese do anything about that? You know, the thing that's another thing that sometimes gets me about the church um we we wrote to the diocese we wrote to the bishop of that diocese um and and then i guess no no responses we wrote them a couple of times and there was no response wow yeah this is a priest that's still that's still uh, ordained priest in in the state of uh in the uh, city of pensacola florida maybe you need to go there with some enlargements of the photos and uh the, how i'll stand outside the church one sunday yeah definitely but it's it was going on for years and eventually um, it got to a point where my family, which is um, uh, my aunts and everything, her sisters, um, actually took my dad's side, and they told her to stop and everything, so they stopped, and then she started seeing other people. And uh, how did your mom react to all of this? She was uh, uh, in denial of it at first. She, it got to a point where she couldn't admit it anymore. Uh, later on, when my family my family knew, and, and the other um, the people who are close to that priest knew, and so he, you know, when he openly admitted it, she couldn't say anything to the family. This is to the family. This is, did not go out to the diocese or anything like that, too. The diocese did nothing about it. Unbelievable. Yeah. Amazing story, JP. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This segment of the program is called My Mom is a Slut. Ashley on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Ashley. I'm nervous. It's <laughs> okay. It's just you and me. Okay. So and a couple of million listeners. Slut. I'm sorry, go ahead. I said my mom's a slut. <laughs> Your mom is a slut. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin, though, because she's been a slut for, like, ever since I was little. How um, old is your mom now? My mom's, like, 49 right now. 49. Yeah, and my dad, who she was recently married to, is about 75. 75? 
Yeah, my dad. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And she was married before that. She's been married four times. Oh, boy. And has had, like, every single, like, thing you could have done to your body has been done to hers, like, plastic surgery-wise. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now, does your mom know you know she's a slut? Yeah. And she's okay with you knowing that? Well, it's not like you can hide it when you've been married, like, four times and have, like, two different kids. She has two different kids and two different dads. Right. Like, she was married first when she was 18 for a little bit, then got married again and had my sister. Um, she's kind of like, I, would, I don't know if it's more of a slut or, like, gold digger. Like, really? half and half. Now, how did all of this affect you? Um, I don't know. I'm just, like, I guess I'm just used to it. She's had a lot of different boyfriends, though, so it was always kind of embarrassing to bring up my friends around. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So... Like, she had this one boyfriend that was, like, a Scientologist at one point. And did he drag her into that? Yes. My mom's, like, a pushover. So, like, whoever she dates, that's who she is. She's a pushover in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can say that. I think I just did. Our email address is my name. Write to me at Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.